Welcome to the Divine Living Talk Show. I'm your host, Gina DeVee, and this is your weekly motivation segment. You are 10 minutes away from being inspired, clear, and ready to rock out your business this week. So grab a coffee or green juice and let's get started. Welcome to the Divine Living Talk Show. I'm your host, Gina DeVee, and today we're talking about you living your epic life. I mean, really, what could be more fantastic? What could be more exciting than actually living out your epic life? Now, I know that for most of us, we're just trying to figure out how we're going to answer all of our emails, make the money that we need to make, and somewhat try to look good in the process and you know, have enough energy to like make it to date night. However, this is not your truth. And this is no way for you to be living. It's so damn boring, by the way. You know, the power that's within you, the capability that you have, and the whole reason that you came to this planet in the first place is not to survive, go through the motions, be boring, and do same old, same old. And yet, depending on how old you are, We've gotten ourselves to this place where our lives are like these machines and these routines are just life sucking and they're definitely epic life sucking. So in the spirit of you being the queen of your life and being in your full and glorious power this week, you have to remember that your truth is legendary and that the epic life is available for you. Now, I know that you've known this since you were a little girl. You know, the girl that like twirled and thought everything was possible and put a tutu on with every outfit and was like all about the ballet recital. Okay, you might have been a tomboy or something less sparkly than me, but you know what I'm talking about. It's that sense of wonder that we just knew that we were going to be fabulous and have these fabulous lives. That's not just little girl dreaming. That is truth. That's what you had inside you before the truth got knocked out of you. So today I invite you to reclaim it. Today I invite you to get back into who you really are, into your big thinking, into being the woman who does whatever it takes to have no regrets. You know, people talk about no regrets. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I I have millions of them. Actually, I have a full decade of them and they're called my 20s. And my regrets are far more in the category of everything I didn't do versus what I did. All you that were like did your 20s and you like regret what you did do, we'll have coffee, we'll talk, we'll compare notes. But I'm telling you, the regret of the unlived life, those years or decade that you can never get back, that's gutting and it's unnecessary. And we women, we don't have to live like that anymore. You know, all this mentality of save your effing latte money, go buy three of them today and and add like some vanilla something in it. Like, Like life is for living. And I know that you know this inside. I know that you're bored with all of the the natter and to do stuff. Because I know I am. When I look at like, what am I spending my time on this for? We got to get better at doing our lives, don't we? You know, we got to get better at being the queen. We got to get better at thinking, who else can do this? Because all that stuff that's weighing you down and keeping you from your zone of genius and your visionary success and all the amazingness and the heart and the love that's inside of you, it's getting just disseminated by your to-do list, by your should list, by your this is what I have to do and then maybe in the hopes of one day in the future having a great life. I say, boom, no, today is the day for you to live in a way that you are going to live your epic life today. You're gonna find something epic and I challenge you right now, like what would just make today epic? You know, if your like ultimate dream would be like, you know, Vegas, J-Lo show, you, front row dancer, hypothetically, that can be one day. But today, 
what would just be epic for you? I know for me, sometimes it's called take a nap. That's like epic, like feeling rested or getting your nails done or actually like from this very empowered place, like would it be epic for you to clean out your email inbox? You know how like purifying to the soul that is? There's, you know, our life is filled up of all these little epic moments if we approach it in that way, if we approach life in the way that you know, we can like massively move our life forward. If your inbox has more than five emails in it, I'm gonna challenge you that anything other than the top five are keeping you from living your epic life. Go in today, delete or forward. That's what I do at the end of every day. I never have more than five emails in my inbox. I've either deleted everything that needs done, I've calendared what needs to be done, or I have forwarded something to a team member. I don't let it bog me down. This process in and of itself has been life-changing. So some simple habit like that. And I wanna challenge you, like you think about what that is for you right now. What would make your life epic today? Is it clearing out your inbox, clearing out your closet? Is it taking yourself out to a fabulous lunch? Is it saying no to something that you keep saying yes to? Is it creating the time and space for you to shut the computer down a little bit earlier tonight and do one of those things, remember, it's called read a book? You know, like what is epic for you? Because what I know is that when women like us give us to ourselves, that's when we show up in our queenhood. That's when we connect with the divine. That's when we ask for guidance and we get it. And it's called a miracle is the result. You know, living your life where it's like, um, you know, a, a miracle is a change in your perception. A miracle is being able to shift from a fear-based thought to a love-based reality. You know, there's all kinds of epic. Now, I know that some of us, we want the TV show, the New York Times bestselling book, speak on stage, make the kajillions. Th those are epic things that are fun. I've accomplished some of those, not all yet. Th those are fabulous. And I'm about the journey and the destination. People say it's not about the destination. I say it's a lot about the destination and it's also about the journey. So today is what you have. So if you're committed to that New York Times bestselling book, then something that might be epic for you today, start writing your book proposal. If today what would be epic for you is to call a sitter, get out of your yoga pants, put some makeup on and go out to dinner with your beloved or some friends, that gets to be ep what's epic for you. you know. And as you start to say yes to living a more fabulous life, you know, I often ask myself, whatever happened to fabulous? You know, I mean, in this land of like plastic containers that I see people eating out of, like, you know, like epic for some people is a cup with a saucer and not like a travel size mug of like a triple vente, quadruple vanilla, whatever. Like, I mean, sometimes just being epic is being a lady. And so you get to decide what that is for you. But I'm going to tell you this, it doesn't include same old, same old. It usually includes saying yes to something and saying no to something. Because from that space, you will develop the emotional musculature to get really strong in being clear about what do you desire? What is your truth? More importantly, what is possible? What are you capable of? What else can happen today, this week, and this year? You know, it's really important that you get, because I, I messed this one up, so listen closely. There was a, a good two years that I really struggled in my business. And what happened was I faced a business challenge and it like, it knocked me upside the head and it put me in this habit and this pattern of just trying to keep up, of just trying to bake payroll, pay the bills, get all this stuff done. And when I woke, when I woke up and I started getting back the fabulous, I realized that I was playing not to lose versus playing to win. So I want to give you that two year shortcut. You're welcome. And you set yourself up to play to win today. 
Say yes to something, say no to something, because you have remembered your epic life, it's waiting for you today, this month, and this year. So you go rock out you, the best version of you. And if you don't know what it is, keep watching these videos. I'm gonna be giving you all kinds of tips and techniques and part of my own personal journey and the ways that I've gotten it wrong and a lot of ways that I've gotten it right. But what I know for sure is that each of us have an epic life within us and it is your responsibility to bring it out of you. And I can't wait to hear and see what that looks like for you. So make sure that you share this with a friend. If you have enjoyed this, leave a comment. And most importantly, thoughts grow stronger as they are shared. So leave a comment about what you're going to do to live your epic life today.